Alright guys, this is the Marcus de Leon fight. So, this time around, I'm going to be doing the attack magic run on him, because this is the lowest level I was able to do this fight. As you can see, I am level 14, 18, 16, 19. Everyone basically barely leveled as I got to here. I wanted to see if I could be able to do this early or not. So, that's the plan here. We're going to be relying on Maya basically to do most of the damage, because she has Frizzle. But that doesn't mean everyone else is going to be slouching around or anything. So, let's go over the items. I went over to Riverton and got the Dragon Mail and Dragon Shield for no web, and picked up the Iron Mask over at the inn where we got Alina and crew. The best, def the best defense uh, that we could use right now is Breath Resistance. I did get the Liquid Metal Armor over in Endor, however... Endor, uh, I didn't really need liquid metal, the liquid metal armor for this fight. This fight is the breath attacks more dangerous than any of the magic. So you're better off just going with Dragon Shield and Dragon Mail for them this time. Also, so everyone has herbs and basically everyone has a cautery sword to help with damaging whenever it's not their turn or something. I mean, whenever they're not healing or supporting. Over here, we have Mina who does not need her spangled dress. There we go. Uh, she's got the liquid metal armor as well. Uh, best defense that we can get for her. And she'll also be using a cautery sword to help with damaging. Everyone's got meteorite bracers as usual. And then we have... Sorry if I'm a little out of it. Then we have Kirill here. Kirill's got the liquid metal armor. Everyone's pretty much set up. And with some medicinal herbs to help conserve some MP. And then Maya over here, the best defense she's got is Spangled Dress from the Casino and a Golden Tiara. Cautery Sword, she doesn't really need it, but it's there. It was mostly for when she ran out of MP in the wild. She's also got a Dream Blade along, a couple other people have it too. It's good for snoozing enemies in the wild, but you don't really need to do that, worry about that in this fight. Same with the Silver Terror cards. I use those sometimes in the wild fights just to see if I can get anything, get anything interesting. Don't use them in a boss fight unless you're desperate. It's not a reliable method. But yeah, anyway, the, the strategy here is going to be relying on Maya to do her frizzle attack while everyone else just tries to stay alive. The hero actually has a very good chances of staying alive, though. That's the good part. She's got a lot of good defenses and HP. The only thing that she's going to be weak against is some of the magic attacks, I believe. But otherwise, this is the party I decide for magic attacking. So... Why don't we go ahead and get started? The good thing here is Mina and Kirill have very good defenses. Yes, thank you, Ragnar. I'm going to go through this really fast. But yeah, they have good defenses so that, you know, it's possible to bring them in without having other tanks in between. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump on in here. The Marcus de Leon, we get you. And the first thing we're going to do for this, well, is Cautery Sword. Except Kirill. Kirill's going to come buff, and Maya's going to frizzle. We're going to try to get as much damage out in every round that's possible, because we're going to be healing a lot. This is much earlier than you really want to be fighting. Okay, and that's the pain. Alright, basically everyone except uh, Noep has to heal themselves. No, she, she's going to heal Maya. You're going to heal yourself, you're going to heal yourself, and you're going to frizzle. See, that's a good thing. No weapon can tank heal. Kirill can tank heal later, when he gets more access to equipment. Sizz is not bad at all. All right. All right. You go ahead. Yeah, you go ahead and uh, medicinal herb yourself. Pottery sword. No, don't attack. Pottery sword and frizzle. Now, Sap would be helpful here because Noep would do more damage attacking a fully defense down enemy than they would be using the sword. However, also that was really good round though. He only used Sizz and all that. I'm going to actually have to show you what I mean. But, yeah, if you're better off just frizzling right away, you want to get as much damage out as possible because... You don't want to run out of MP. But yeah, right now, attack is only 6 with no weapon. 
So you're better off just go ahead and cautery sorting with everyone else. Luckily, Ke Leon here. I keep wanting to think Keleon has no resistance to Sizz or Frizzle. So this is the way for them to all contribute. Alright, that's not bad. That is bad. Alright, once again, we're going to do the heal chain here. I could try conserving MP, but you're better off just going all out. Don't worry about MP at all. A constant frizzle will get him down, usually, before you even know what runs out of MP. Alright. For this, I'm going to have you, Pottery Sword. You go ahead and Medicinal Herb, Maya. Because she's the one that we want to make sure she stays tip-top. Everyone else has at least some good damage. Uh, defense. Also, I forgot to buff. Ooh, boy. This could be bad. Not bad. If it's no weapon, it's okay. No weapon, just... Actually, don't self-heal. You go ahead and herb her. Because Mina has better MP. Go ahead and throw down a kabuff, and you frizzle. Yeah, the defense is, is really where... where, um... what you really need for this... Uh, fight this early. Okay, uh... I think, can we get away with just heal? We probably could, but it's Maya. Just go all, go all out with that. You can just get away with self-heal. Actually, do you have an herb left? Yes, you do. You're gonna have to self-heal, and then you're gonna frizzle. Yeah, get all the, get all that damage out, and you got it. But what would it be like if we did this with just our fists and support magic? Well, that'll be show I'll be showing you that right after everyone levels up, I guess. <laughs> Honestly, I might this is where I might have to split the split the let the uh, challenge here like I have to have two different types of saves here because I don't know how Oh my god, we're still leveling up. I don't know how we're going to do these at the same levels. Obviously, with magic attacks, you're going to be able to blast right through uh, at lower levels. But it's harder when you're relying on physical attacks, especially when one of the physical attackers is fucking Tornico, of all people. Oh, wow, Tornico, you double leveled. But, yeah. So, I'm not sure how this party's, the next party's going to be showing up, but I'm, I might have to level up just a little bit for Boria to be brought in, since... Boria has, doesn't have the HP to survive. It's unfortunate. Uh, anyway, I'll see you in just a moment. Okay, guys. So, it turns out we can do this at the same levels as, uh, as we were when we did the magic attacking chat part of this challenge here. It's a little difficult, but and it takes probably a little longer than it should, but... That's what we expected when it came to this challenge anyway. Uh, right after this, though, I am absolutely going to make sure I grind it at least to level... Someone gets hits level 22, I think, before I even try Balzac. <laughs> In any case, this is the setup. Uh, Noep and Alina will be the attackers, with Noep doing emergency mid-heals here and there. Uh, but they also have the Cautery Sword to help out, with, as usual, just in case Sap's not down. Alina is here. Best equipment she has is the same as Maya. She can't wear shields, and the Spangled Dress is the best equipment we can get her at the moment. I think, well, technically you can probably get a Dodge Cloak or something like that, but it it's actually slightly less defense anyway, so don't worry about that. Medicinal Herbs are on her too in case it's an oh shit, we have to he everyone needs to heal moment. Then we have Kiro. I chose Kiro instead of bringing Tornico in because... Well, one, we want extra healing, and two, Kabuff is way too necessary. So, yeah, we we had to bring him in for the Kabuff. He semi-tanks as it is, too. I actually might put him in front of Alina, but I don't. it really doesn't matter much. In any case, uh, Cautery Sword for attacking, but otherwise, Medicinal Herbs in case his MP runs low. With Maya in our last slot. You might be wondering, why is Maya here? Well, Maya's here because... Once again, Borya can't survive, or sometimes can't survive a round. It, it can get, he can get really unlucky where a cold breath happens and then he gets attacked, and then 
If a bad roll happens, he just dies. You need that extra HP that Maya has. At least my Maya has. I didn't put any seeds down yet. She has the Cautery Sword here because she'll be using that to attack with, since we're not allowing her to use attack magic in this one. And of course, she'll be healing whenever she's not needing to sap or Cautery Sword. But that's all for there. I will meet you at the start of the fight this time. All right. Marcus de Leon time. All right, first things first. We're going to have Noah just use Cautery Sword because she's probably going to go before Maya does. And then... Alina's just going to attack anyway. She might crit, so don't worry about that. Kirill needs to kabuff and Maya needs to sap. Once you have kabuff up, that takes one third or fourth of his good attacks. Actually, one third of his good attacks away. Alright, that hurt. This is a case where I think I can get away with it. You two can actually attack. Kirill needs to mid-heal himself. Maya is going to Medicinal Herb Alina. Okay, not bad. Yeah, I, I should have uh, moved uh, Kirill up ahead. Right now he has better defense than Alina. Okay. Let's see. You're going to attack. Do you need to heal anybody right now? You go ahead and heal Alina. Alina's going to attack, and you are going to self-heal. Because Maya doesn't really have too much better to do other than using the sword. That's not bad at all. Okay. This is a case where we'll leave this to Kirill to go ahead and do the healing. You attack, and you're going to Cautery Sword. The more that that this doofus just attacks, the better. Nice. Oh, but his defense went down. All right, I'm going to switch to Cautery Sword for you. Speaking of defenses, why don't you buff now? You're going to attack, and you're going to sap. Yeah, Alina, unfortunately, missed her chance there, but that's okay. Very good. And that means now we can actually just use a attack and a cautery sword. Go all out with this. I don't count cautery swords as attack magic in this, because they're very limited compared to your actual magic. Sis isn't too bad. Yeah, you attack. Why don't you do a small heal for no wep here? You attack, and you can cautery sword. Very good. I like Kirill to use his herbs first because Maya, once Maya runs out, she can only attack, and we want to have that extra healing time just in case shit hits the fan. But yeah, Kirill doesn't have enough strength to really outbeat the Cautery Sword, and no up as it is, only he's barely outbeating it. Outbeating it? Outdamaging it. So that's why. You know what? Actually, you attack. Kabuff, I don't. You know what? Since his defense went down, this is a good time to refresh it. She's going to use the Cauter Sword because she's more likely to beat Maya. And you're going to sap. It's weird to have Alina using items like that, though. Ooh! That was a nice crit there, Noef. Alright. Yeah, we're getting really lucky here. If he decides to be an asshole and just, like, icy breath and sizz often, you're... Noep won't be able to contribute to the attack at all. But right now, we are getting pretty lucky. You attack. Why don't you go ahead and herb yourself, because you have lower eight max HP. You're going to attack, and you're going to heal Alina. Again, we just want to make sure everyone's topped off. Okay, that's good, good. All right. You use yours on Maya, you're going to attack, and you're going to Cautery Sword. Hard part's really keeping track of the defenses and all. Oh boy, here it comes. Not bad. Oh, and, he, and he's down anyway. Alright, this is not a bad time for you to bust out a mid-heal for Alina. You're going to mid-heal yourself. You are going to... I want to get Sap off. You're going to heal instead. Let me see. You're 
you're getting healed, you're getting healed. You're gonna heal Maya. Maya, we wanna get Sap off. Sap is a little too important. Okay. And not too bad. Okay. We're okay. You go ahead and attack. You're gonna Medicino. You don't have to worry about Noep at all, really, because Noep has so many good resistances. You're going to attack, and... Yeah, you only want to, like, mid-heal Noep when you need to. This, as you can tell, is taking a little longer, though, because you're only doing so much damage. Okay. Yeah, you're going to attack. I'm going to have you get ahead of things and just heal no what now and you can cautery sword there you go yeah sap is a must <laughs> to get through this without magic attack otherwise it's just using the cautery swords over and over i'm, gl I'm glad that i found that this is possible and all that but yeah cautery swords are going to be your our buddies for at least until we get the let the get the final key <laughs> This is also still without a Staff of Salvation, because I could st have Tornico Steel stuff, and I may end up having to do that at some point. But for now, I'm going to leave. I think I'll... I won't steal unless I must. So, but yeah, next up is the Baltic fight, and oh boy, I'm not sure about this, but... If there is any attack usable items that are available that to be stolen, I might try and do that. Otherwise, though, yeah, I'm just going to be trying my luck here with, uh, try my luck with, with, uh, those cautery swords, because bad news about Balzac, he can't be sapped, so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Anyway, I will see you at the Balzac fight in just a bit. Hey, guys, we're here at the Balzac fight. This is going to be the magic attack run as usual this is the first one i like to try first there's only only when it seems like uh, i can guarantee a physical attacking one do i really want to do that one only so for this one we're going to be using mostly magic users like before it's going to be no web kiro mina maya they are the best team for team magic boria would be okay is better for like the physical team because he has oomph and Sap does not work on on Balzac, so that's why it well, attack's gonna be even harder than I would like it to be, that's for sure. In any case though, here's our general setup. Uh switch to liquid metal armor on no Whip, but it has generally the same setup as before with the cautery sword. Everyone has a cautery sword, at least every one person does. Kirill, generally same setup. I did throw a dream blade on him, but it won't work in this case. The medical herbs are starting to have less use, but it's something. Mina is about the same, except we have a sense of time for oh shit. Shouldn't need it though. And uh, here is Maya with her same equipment. Generally same setup here. The only difference here is I leveled up a little bit. I took out a couple of liquid metals over at the Royal Crypt south of Endor. And once I got to like, again, like level 20 ishes here for just about everybody. Yeah, that's when I said, okay, let's try it now. Now, this fight is mostly easy with our this party, but it can be, can get tricky if he really decides to be an asshole. His main threat is Crackle. Crackle's going to hurt the most. His attack's not going to matter because we have Kirill, though. So that's the good news there. Anyway, let's do this. All right, no web is just going to cautery sword. We have Kirill Kabuff, and then Mina's gonna swoosh. Mina's gonna play mage this time alongside her sister. Obviously, Maya's still the MVP, but Mina's got a good solid attack that it will negate his self healing some. It does more better damage on average than the cautery sword. Occasionally, the Cautery Sword might be better if you get all low rolls, but that's it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and have you go ahead and Cautery Sword. How's our health? Health is mostly fine. You could get away with just throwing an herb over at Maya. Swoosh and Frizzle. But yeah, getting Cautery Sword throws... Getting as much damage out as possible is what you want against him. 
Yeah, cool breath doesn't really matter. Thanks to his self-healing crap, you know. You want to make sure you keep on top of everything. Uh, I'm going to let you do the heal this time. It's only 50. Yeah, you, you can get away with an herb. I'm going to have you, Cautery Sword. And there we go. But I kind of like this build because it's like... Maya and Mina are getting revenge here, you know? Okay, that hurts a little bit. Yeah, his attack is probably the worst part. Okay, you're gonna mid-heal. You're gonna throw another Kabuff down to refresh it. And I think we can get away with just Swoosh and Frizzle. Yeah, the, the liquid metal armor is really what keeps our healers alive here. <laughs> That's okay, and that's not gonna do anything. Okay. You're gonna have to. You're gonna mid heal, Mina. You're gonna mid heal yourself, and you guys are just gonna keep going. Because no whip is much tankier. And there you go. That was just it for the magic attack version of this. <sighs> not looking forward to <laughs> the physical damage part because we have to keep up with that self healing, but. Let's see what we can do. I'll meet you in that attempt. All right, guys, we're here at the next part of this challenge where we fight Balzac with just our melee people. I did not have to level it anymore, but this is a, this gets a little bit dicey still. Uh, as you can see, I brought in Alina and Boria for this part, which I think makes sense. You could have Ragnar instead of Borea and just go without oomph, but it I don't know, it gets a little tight to do that, I find. So, but in any case, the setup's not too different here. We just have we just have uh, Alina and Borea here. Same setup with uh, their equipment. Oh yeah, but Borea, that we didn't go over him though. He has the Robe of Serenity. Uh, as a new armor that we got from the that seed that root that we had to get for Kirill. Yeah, uh, we picked it up around there. He's also got the Cautery Sword, so he'll be helping out attack when needed, but he's mostly just going to be oomph spamming for us. Other than that, like I said, this guy's getting a little bit dicey because Crackle can take out a bit out of us, so oh, I don't know. You just got to be careful a little. Anyway, let's just zoom through this part. We've already seen this. I'll show you what I mean, though. I, I'm, like, trying to, like, not spoil it as I'm talking, and it's just like, no, just just, just do it. Okay. Just double-checking all the spells that Noep currently has at this time. Noep's going to Cautery Sword at the moment because they don't have enough regular damage. Kirill's going to come up as usual. Alina is probably going to outspeed Borea, so you're going to cut do the sword as well, and then you are going to oomph Alina. The only thing is, he's more likely just going to just heal, heal what we just did in damage. Luckily, he didn't do much for us here. Alright, I'm going to have you attack. You can actually Cautery Sword. You don't do that. And you go ahead and oomph no way. Very good. But yeah. Consider that damage a little bit, like, at half of what normal be. And, uh, Noop is only going to be doing, like, 16s if they were not oomph. So we can just do this. Everyone's HP is doing great at the moment. Which means you can Cautery Sword. Once again, Cautery Sword does not count towards the attack magic part. Items don't. We're doing pretty good here. Okay. Uh, attack. I'm going to have you do a small heal for... You know, just mid-heal. Just go all out. You attack, and you're going to Cautery Sword. But yeah, you just got to keep the damage pressure on. Okay. He's not crackling yet. That's good. I'm going to have you buff it to refresh. We're getting lucky right now. He hasn't... The crackle spammed yet. Did I jinx it? There we go. This is where it hurts. Now it doesn't look too bad yet.
but mainly Kirill's got to play full-time healer here. And the best person to do this for right now is Boria, because he has less max HP. You're going to attack, and I'm going to throw, have you throw Kirill in herb. Good. Okay, that's fine. Oh, he double crackled. That ain't good, that ain't good. Okay. Now, unfortunately, no has got to help heal. You are going to heal for you. You are going to heal your girlfriend, your wannabe girlfriend. You're going to attack, and you're going to attack. Just to get that little extra damage off. All right, Elena's oomph wore off. And so did no webs. That's one crackle, that's fine. Oh god, it's getting bad. I had to jinx it, didn't I? Yeah, you need to mid-heal... Let's mid have you mid-heal Boria. You should mid-heal yourself. And Elena's gonna just attack even though she doesn't have oomph. And you're gonna oomph her for afterwards. We're going to fall behind a little bit here. Alright, that's fine. You can keep doing that. I'm fine with that. You don't need to attack yet. You know, go ahead and anyway. Do it anyway. You're going to mid-heal Elena, because Elena doesn't have as many resistances. You need to attack. You need to oomph Noah. Okay, we're ahead of the game already, because Elena just did 60. That's 90. That's good, because he heals 50 each turn. Alright, Noep's gonna be in a little bit of trouble, but Noep's also gonna have to friggin' heal, too. God. Actually, no, wait. We might be able to get away with something here. You're going to attack. You're gonna mid heal. You're going to attack. And you are going to kill yourself. There we go. Okay, it was a little bit better damage than the Cautery Sword does. It's tricky, but it works. Uh,. Boria's oomph is really what we really needed here. And Elena has the highest base strength, so she's the better choice over Tornico or Ragnar. Because Ragnar is a little bit too slow still. If we had full heal, I would say Ragnar is not a bad choice. But I like the versatility of having Noep being able to help heal too. Elena is going to still be better than him, Ragnar. So. And Kiro and Boria were kind of the musts. Either that, or you just see me cautery sorting with everybody, and we probably wouldn't be able to get enough damage output, so. Alright, that was the physical force way. I guess the next fights are going to be just Kirk Buzzer and Sir, Sir Rose Garden, which... They should be breathers, but we'll see. <laughs> I'll see you in either one of those.